Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary. I'm a mother of two beautiful girls and I love makeup. Today's video, it's the Ulta haul I told you about. It's going to be the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, the Hot Buys, some high ends, one of them not Ulta and some drugstore. Some of them are CVS not Ulta as well. Let's get started. Before we do though, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Let's get started now. So um, before we start, if you like this look, it's going to be up soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let's start by the Hot Buys and the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. First thing I got is the Too Faced Proactive and Nourishing Hangover Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers and it's silicon free. So why did I get that? Because I heard every YouTuber for the longest time raving about it. Now, do I like it? Yes, I do. I've used it and I have it on my face right now. Um, yeah, I like it. I love it. Is it worth the hype? Yes, it's worth the hype. And I love all the good stuff that it has in it. And it's silicon free, so it has all the good stuff for hydrating your skin without and it feels smooth and it takes makeup on really nicely but it doesn't have silicon in it which is an added bonus for me so that's why i like it a little bit a little a tinge more than the maybelline hydrating one and the nyx hydrating one that's the drugstore hydrating uh primers in a cream form i love it more because it doesn't have silicon in it which is like less yucky stuff you're putting on your face next thing i got is the hula bronzer the benefit hula bronzer it is so good. It's worth every bit of the hype it has for the longest time on YouTube. It's like a very unique um, shade. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's right there in between and it's perfect. Perfect if you just want to have one step bronzer and contour at the same time. That's that. I also got the brow definer. Anastasia Beverly Hills the brow definer in graphite of course because I went black over here and it's nice I like it as long as it's drugstore price I am on board um, with getting high-end brow products but if it's full price I swear I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it because I fly through brow products so if I will buy each one for $20 no thank you max I will pay $10 if it's high-end I wouldn't even pay the $10 if it's drugstore that's how because there are so many good stuff for for really really good price so I don't need to go out and spend this kind of money so I got it because it was on sale is it good yes would I buy it for full price no I got two mascaras I got the Monsieur Big by Lancome I haven't tried it before I couldn't give you any um, review on it but I've heard like a lot of good stuff about it I'm so excited to try it but I have um, one Lancome it's like the Hypnose one I have it open I didn't go through it yet so yeah um, I will open this one once I run out of the Hypnose one and I got my backup from my Tarte uh, Light and Camera Lashes that's my favorite mascara I have it on not that you can tell anything because I have those for me weird lashes on me but like okay we're, we're gonna look past that anyways and I got two of the Urban Decay All Nighter now every youtuber and their mothers are talking about it for good reason now would I pay full price for this yes I would um I got two because I don't want to do that but if it wasn't on sale for that I would buy the full price this is hairspray for your face from the moment you put your makeup until you decide to take it off, it's there. It doesn't go away. It's the best setting spray, not glowy, for setting your makeup, for actually making your makeup last longer. My favorite. Now, I had a plan to buy the Benefit Professional. This is, of course, not it. But I got like some sample and this was in it and I tried it. I wasn't floored. Uh, it wasn't anything special. I have drugstore stuff that does this thing and if I want the top 
pore filling um, primer. It's the Tarte Clean Slate. That's like, that's an eraser. Like you erase everything right before your eyes. I will use it in a tutorial soon so you can actually see this in action. And it's, as I told you, I have it behind me just a second. It's this one over here. So whenever you are in the market for the best pore filling primer, it's this one right over here. So I skipped on the professional. I wouldn't pay ever 30 something dollars or even the $16 for it because I have drugstore and I have one right over here in the stash I have in front of me. It's even better than this one. So that's a no. I also bought the Clinique Moisture Surge, the moisturizer. And I bought the Mario Badescu, of course, you know my love for this line. The Mario Badescu Skincare Vitamin C Serum. And I use this at night and I use this in the morning. From the Hot Buys, I bought the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Palette. Do I like it? Yeah, I do. Do I? Will I pay full price? No, because I have drugstore contour stuff that does, I would say, the same thing. Uh, it's a little bit powdery though. It's so smooth and it blends nicely. I have it on today. I like it, yes, but I wouldn't pay full price for it, but it's nice. I'm glad I got it. Let's put it this way. I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. And let me tell you, this blush stays on. I put some swatches on. I went to like wash dishes and it was still there. That's how long lasting it is. Will I uh, recommend it um, full price? Yes, it is so good. It's like now front and center. It's one of my favorite blushes for the moment actually now. No, from the 21 days of beauty, I got the Tartardius lip paint. I got the shade Loki, the shade Bestie and the shade Exposed. And looking at them in the tube, you will say that's a crazy person because they look the same but they don't the exposed one is a pinky nude the uh, bestie is grayish nude and the loki is peachy nude the one i have on under the gloss is the peachy one the loki one uh so why did i get these um i don't like the formula at all so are you crazy why did you get it because i layer it beneath glosses so the glosses have more like color and they stay longer so that's why i got these for the glosses talking about glosses i got four of the dose of color lip gloss <laughs> it doesn't say anything else i got the shade can you not and the shade on repeat and the shade jazzy and the shade messy bun so my initial thought when i got the can you not i thought when i applied it was going to be like on repeat but i don't like it it translated to white on my lips so like specific uses for it right now like if i have a very dark lip and i want to lighten the center stuff like that i would use it for that but for all over the lip like kind of a everyday gloss these two are my go-to the um, a messy one for pinky looks or for looks when i want pink lips and this one for peachy or nude lips i love them the one that i have on right now and that's the second video i film with this and it's the jazzy one let me reapply right now yes it makes it's kind of metallic -y kind of gloss and the smell and the taste is so good i love them as you can see it feels like i have lip injection right now right i love it and for the other high-end stuff i got i got the tart shape tape a backup for me because i can't like be without it that's like how good it is because i like it um weekends um occasions filming this is my go-to and i got the born this way foundation and the born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer obviously i haven't used these 
yet. I'm planning real, real soon and I will keep you updated if I, if I like it or not. But I've heard very, very, very good things, especially about the concealer, that it's the same coverage as Shape Tape, but not as drying. So yeah, I'm all about that. So I'm super excited to try that. And I got, of course, like I can't have all this kind of stuff and don't, like don't get, uh, guys, my, my nose is itching really hard over here and like I don't want to ruin my makeup so that's why I'm tapping all the time like that so I'm, I'm sorry. So I can't like have a full face almost of makeup, backups and stuff like I know I, I will use without getting highlighter. That's like, it wouldn't be me, right? Uh, I got the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. Come on, I couldn't resist, come on. It's the one that I have on right now, if you can see. And I, of course, like for for right now, I don't use just the powder highlighter. I always, on daily basis, every time I apply makeup, whatever, um, highlighter, powder highlighter I'm going to use. I have to layer this beneath it, the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. Like I need 10 in backup from this one because I know I'm gonna go through it. I use it every day. So that's I have it and then over it I have the uh, Laura Geller one. I enjoy it. The last high-end item I have I ordered off of a milk makeup website and it's the blur plus set matte loose setting powder um yeah ask me why i got it it doesn't have any yucky stuff and it has a bunch of extracts that um i will feel okay applying every day so now my three my only three setting powders or loose setting powders are this one the Born This Way by Too Faced and the number seven one. I can't apply anything else for daily basis. I have it on right now and let me tell you that. Let me get a mirror. I have it on right now. Um, it's a bit drying. Let me, let me be straightforward. But it's nothing super crazy. Like from a distance, it looks nice. I don't see that much of dryness. But super close, yeah, I can see some dryness. But will I use it every day? I would say so because I apply eye cream and most of the concealers are I use has some good things in them. And this one does too, so I don't feel bad applying it. Um, and it's not horrible like my favorite one for in person is the born uh, this way by Too Faced it's right here it's this one over here and you, you can see I have used quite a bit of it but I I need something for occasions guys I can't use this for occasions because of the flashback it's bad the flashback is bad the number seven one doesn't have flashback um this one i haven't tried yet so that's the high-end portion of the haul let's go to the drugstore real fast um the not ulta the stuff that i didn't get at ulta are the blur stick by um, master blur stick by maybelline and that's the one that i was telling you it's even better than be the benefit uh professional so i've been enjoying it for every day it's not like completely erases everything but it does its job and it's like skin tone over here so you don't feel like you have uh, like a whitish cast in your, on your face it's it's nice i got a backup from the maybelline um total temptation brow definer i enjoy this kind of stuff so i got one and i got uh obviously i have um a lot of brow products because all of a sudden I don't have any brow products so that's the the whole I I did to like revamp my um, brow stash I got the wet n wild ultimate brow Re retractable brow pencil in medium brown and it's like 
exactly like the uh, Anastasia one. It's the exact, the exact shape. Can you see that? That's for brows. Uh, and I got the Comfort Zone palette by Wet n Wild. Ask me why did you get this palette and I will tell you the reason. That's the reason I got this palette. You see that? Yeah, I'm all about that. And stay tuned. I will, uh, I have a video in mind, mix and match. I will use this shade from this palette with the Subculture uh, by Anastasia. So I would say this is my next video to film. It's going to be with this palette. And I got this highlighter. I just couldn't resist. I'm sorry, but look at that. Do you see how pigmented this is? Let's, come on. One swipe, one swatch. Like, I couldn't. It's so beautiful. So those are the drugstore stuff that's not Ulta. Now drugstore stuff at Ulta. I got the uh, Morphe M501 brush and as you see it's dirty because that's the perfect, perfect, perfect brush for the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. If you're gonna get this bronzer, get this brush. Nothing in all my highlighter brushes collection applies this highlighter as, as this one. So that's the first thing I got. Um, from Morphe, I also got the Continuous Setting Mist. I thought for sure that I will find alcohol in it and I didn't and I like it. I like the mist and I like the glow it gives your skin after you apply it. I don't have it on, that's not the glowy thing I have on. The one I have on is the Pixie Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. That's the one I have and I'm almost out of it and I will repurchase it because it's that good. But this one is so good as well. Will I repurchase it again? I'm not sure. I feel this is doing a better job of that. So I will, yes, I will use it up, but I will opt for this one because that's my favorite. I got a backup from the Revolution, the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick eyeliner i like this one it's the eyeliner i have on right now not that you will be able to see it because of those humongous lashes for me so yeah i got the backup from this one i'm not gonna open it right now yeah we're talking intense highlighters guys it's a very good smooth highlighter it's just not that metallic like for me it's not that metallic but do i like it yes i do well i recommend it i would say get the wet and wild one i got a backup for the essence make me brows that's one of my favorite brow setting gels so that's one of my favorite all oh, from the ultra 21 days of beauty i got the tart double duty beauty uh, busy gal brows yeah, so I got this one because like I found this brush to be extremely cute and it's good. I have it on like, will I buy it for full, full price? No. Like if I ran out of this and there is no offers on anything high end, I will get this one. And I have a backup for a reason because this is the thing that I will keep repurchasing. It's the Make Me Brow by Essence. From Essence as well, I got the Metal Chrome Blush. Obviously not blush. It's a highlighter. Now, it's not the smoothest. It's not the most blinding. It's this one over here. But layered over the Physician's Formula, it's the ultimate golden highlighter. So I enjoy it for really bronzy uh, looks and over the Physician's Formula one, it's really good, I like it. Well, I recommend it if you're gonna use it on its own. It's not good on its own, period. Uh, I got a backup from the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define that I got it in C6. So that's a backup that's, it's a very good concealer from the drugstore. And I got the lip, uh, the Butter Gloss by NYX in the, in the shade Creme Brulee. And I enjoy it, it's right here. I love it for every day. 
it's a very good gloss it's a very good drugstore gloss like I know that those of colors are so hyped up and they are that good but I got them because they were $10. If you don't want to pay the $17 or $18 for the Dose of Colors one, get this one, you're going to be satisfied. I was on Loose Shadow Kick. So I got two by um, Wet n Wild and it's the Color Icon Loose Pigment. It says it's limited edition. I have the shade uh, Gold Pigment and Unicorn Wishes. Of course, that's the gold and that's the unicorn. I have used this one. While they have it, get it. I can't believe I don't I don't remember it was $3.99 or $5.99. Either I can't believe this is the price for it. Incredible. And it's much 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 smoother than the NYX one. So I got two from NYX, the foil play. Uh, cream pigment in the shade I have the shade polished and the shade French macaroon over here those are NYX the, and they are $5.99 I guess they are, so this one is $3.99 yeah this is much cheaper like not much cheaper it's like a couple dollars cheaper it has more product anyways the wet and wild ones are much better they are smoother this one is chunky and you have to like fuss around a lot to make it look smooth when you get it to look smooth it's pow in your face like it's very very metallic-y shimmery glimmery everything you would want to like make your eyeshadow pop even on daily basis without being too much it's very good i like it but you have to fuss around to make it look smooth so when you get it to be smooth, it's so nice, but um, you have to fuss around. The, the Wet n Wild one, especially this shade, the gold pigment, out of this world. And I got the Ulta Lustrous Foil Eyeshadow. And it's the same exact idea as the uh, this one. You have to fuss around a lot to make it work, but just make it work and you will see. Do you see that? It's beautiful. It's just a little bit hard to um, make it look smooth. The last shadow, single shadow I have is the NYX uh, Steal Your Man Foil Play Cream Eyeshadow. And the shade is still Steal Your Man. It's like a golden one and I don't like it. Like when you see it in the pan, you, you feel like... You're gonna like faint out of the pigment and it's not it's the putty consistency putty or jelly something like that and it doesn't pack that much of a punch Do you see it's like oh, cute but like not groundbreaking now i saved the best item for last since i got it i just can't stop using it it's a staple a daily item for me that's a must mixed in with uh foundations i use it every day with every foundation i mix it in no matter what's the primer what's the setting spray no matter no matter what complexion products i'm using that's that's a must for me i mix it with every foundation and it's the flower supernova celestial skin elixir this thing is a miracle in a bottle your skin looks healthy glowing from within plump supple everything you would dream about your skin it's gonna make your skin look like this with makeup on like you have your foundation on and you will look healthy glowy your foundation will look like skin you will not look like you're having foundation on i don't think like looking at my skin right now that i feel like i have foundation on but i have and two layers of them so uh yeah um if there is one thing i would tell you yes you need this yes go buy it yes it will make a difference in your life yes it will add value to your collection it's going to be 
this thing over here that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and like it if you did thumb up don't forget and before you go i will be so happy if you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss on any of my videos share the video if you like it until the next one bye